Hello again, YouTube. We are doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures. We are in basic JavaScript on challenge 101 of 113. So we are getting close. All right, so today we are going to nest for loops. Um, yeah, basically this is just gonna show us that when we have nested arrays, multi-dimensional arrays, so as you can see, we have an array containing three subarrays here. Uh, if we wanna access and loop through all the values within the subarrays, uh, we have to create a outer for loop to loop through each of these subarray indexes within this entire outer loop, and then we have to create an inner array, or I'm sorry, an inner for loop. So nest these for loops so that we can have the first one loop us through each of the indexes in the outer for loop, and then the inner one loop us through the values within each inner for loop. So basically this one on each loop is grabbing one of these and then within that, well we still have, we're holding this one in this outer for loop, we're then taking uh, this inner for loop and looping through each value within this inner array. And then once we loop to those, we go to the next loop of the outer one, grab this, loop through the, these two, and then loop back to this uh, outer loop and then grab the last one and then loop through these inner values. Hope that made sense. Uh, when we do this challenge, if you guys are stuck on it, definitely play with the code for a little bit, break it. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, um, that's the best way to kind of get a feel for how the code is working, what's actually d happening under the abstraction of uh, these concepts. So uh, yeah, definitely play around with it. So basically all we're going to do for this challenge is mo modify this function, multiply by all, or multiply all here, which takes in an array, and we are going to return the product of all the numbers in each subarray. Okay, so looking at these, okay, yeah, looking at these uh, examples here, it looks like we're we're going to add all the products together. Yeah, well, no, we're going to multiply them. No? No, we're just going to add them together, I think. Okay, let's let's try that. Let's try adding them together. Let's try them together. Okay, so what we're going to do is create an outer for loop. So we can say for let i equal zero, i is less than, uh, and then we're going to loop to this outer loop. So we are taking in an array here. So we can reference that array. So we know that's going to contain some arrays. We don't know what sizes are. As you can see here, it's going to pass us different size arrays. So we just can just make this uh, a universal function that works with all of them by saying array.length and we can increment i on each loop, i++. plus plus. Open this up. So now we are grabbing each of these inner arrays as indexes. So we can grab this one, this one, and this one, but we can't grab the values in them yet. So we have to go through the uh, another loop to grab those and loop through those. So we can say for let I, uh, we used i let j equals zero. J is less than array at i. So whichever array, say we're on this array one, we want to do array one dot length, not all of them dot length, just whichever one we have dot length. So two in this case length and j plus plus all right so now that we have those two uh, we want to multiply each of their values together or at least multiply them by product i think all right so yeah so we'll just multiply them by product so we'll say product equals product product times array i, which is whichever index we're at, and then 
index j. So we're grabbing whatever array we're at. So say it's this one, one, i is one, and then j is zero. So then we'll grab the three, and then i will be one, and j will be one, and we'll grab the four, and then i will be two, and we'll grab this whole array, j will be zero, and we'll grab five, and then six, and so forth. Okay, so let's see if that works. Yep, it liked that, so it just wanted us to multiply them all together, not add them uh, separately. So that's pretty simple. We just take the product of one and then multiply every value by product, changing product as we go. So I hope that made sense. Hope that helped. Uh, again, if you guys don't understand what's going on, definitely kind of play around with the solution, break it, console log everything. Um, if we go through, we can actually take this as a console.log. This guy, as you can see, we're oh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're grabbing each value there, so those are all in order. So that kind of makes sense. Um, and yeah, you can see in these examples that it runs here as well. So like in this five one zero two four, we have five one zero two four, and we're just going through all of them and multiplying them together. And that's what these for loops do. So I hope that helped. Hope that made sense. Hope to see you guys in the next video.